this is the fastest way to set up texting, calling, and email and go high level. So check this out. Once you're in your high level agency account, you'll want to go to settings and then we'll go ahead and start with the phone integration so that you can set up texting and calling. And we'll go into agency settings because as soon as you start a new high level agency, uh, the lead connector phone system will be connected and set up immediately. And so LC phone system is nothing else than Twilio on the back end, but high level and Twilio have a uh, partnership. And so it's easiest to just start using LC phone system and only switch to Twilio or another phone provider if you have to. So stick to LC phone and it should be set up immediately anyways. Then you'll see your sub accounts right here in this list. And you'll see that once you create a new sub account, it'll automatically be connected to LC phone as well. If you want to change anything, you can do that uh, right here with the edit button. But pretty much everything on the agency view is set up immediately. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to switch to your sub account. So we'll jump into the sub account like this video right here. We'll go into settings and we'll click on phone numbers. Then from here, you can see I've already purchased a phone number and uh, pretty much just to show you how to purchase a phone number, you'll click add phone number, add phone number, and then here you can filter by, hey, uh, you know, do I want SMS, do I want MMS, do I want a local phone number, a toll free phone number, so that you can find the phone number that you want. And you could search for the area code kind of that you're looking for. So if I, for example, search for 980, hit apply, then all the phone numbers that have any part 980 will show up now. But I could say, hey, um, show me the phone numbers that have the, have the first part of 980, so my area code and then those will populate. Once you see a phone number that you kind of like, like this one right here, 9995, then you can just select it and proceed to buy. And once you hit this buy button, it does actually buy the phone number. Uh, I did that just a second ago with this phone number right here. You'll get this uh, confirmation message here pretty much. And um, then you're ready to send SMS. In the US, if you're a US client, a US customer, and you want to send um, messages, texting and calling within the US, then you do have to get this phone number A2P approved, as you can see here. And so if you haven't done that yet, you'll pretty much just hit the start now button and you'll be brought to this section right here. You'll first register your A2P brand and then you'll register an A2P campaign. And you can just start the registration process and just go through it, fill in as much info as you can, as much info as you have on your, on your file and on, on your hands because registering your brand can be pretty easy. Registering the campaign can be a little bit tricky now and then. Um, so I record a separate video on how to get A2P approved. But again, if you're not in the US, then you don't have to worry about this. So if you wanna see that A2P verification video as well, then just comment down below and I'll post it and reply back to your comment. Now, if we go back to manage numbers, we can change the configuration of that number that you have in your account by hitting edit back here, edit configuration. And I wouldn't worry too much about these settings. I would leave this off. If you wanna learn anything about any of these settings, you can just hover over the little eyes and see what they're about. I would leave this off though. I would forward calls to your private phone number and make it pop up on your actual phone. Um, and then I would use the verified caller ID if you do have that registered. You, you can connect this enable call connect feature, which means you have to press a button to connect. Um, I would leave the whisper message off. I would leave call recording off unless you have a specific reason to. I would set this incoming call timeout uh, and outgoing to about 15 seconds. And then you can select which users you want to ring incoming calls to as well. But that's pretty much it. Once you have this phone number purchased and it is A2P verified, or if you're in a different country, again, you might not need that A2P verification, then you're ready to use High Level's phone system uh, for calling and texting. So let's move on to the email setup. And as you can see, we have the email services within the sub account. But then if we go to the agency view, we also have the email services here. So if you're sending anything from the agency account, like, hey, once you get new sub accounts and, and, and any kind of agency related emails, you would set up a dedicated domain for your agency right here. And then each of your individual businesses or individual business entities would have their own sub account and you would set up their individual domains, dedicated domains from right here. So if you have a sub account that's uh, an insurance business, you would set up a dedicated email sending domain uh, within the sub account. If you have a sub account that's a plumbing business, you would do that within that sub account. 
And for if you want to send any sort of agency emails and you need a dedicated domain, you would set that up on the agency view. So it's important to understand the difference between the agencies and the sub accounts. Most of you will want to set up a dedicated sending domain within the sub account just so that the, the deliverability of the emails is as high as possible for each sub account and it's independent for each sub account and each business entity, meaning that if one sub account does su stupid email sending and a lot of spammy email activity, other sub accounts don't get affected. So with that being said, let's create a dedicated domain right here and you can see I've already got my Cloudflare account open right here. Uh, this is just a dummy account that I bought, gosmarterflows.com. So we'll select that and copy that over. Most of you will want to create a dedicated domain within the sub account. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you can see I've got my Cloudflare account open right here where my domain is registered. You might have it under Namecheap, GoDaddy, any of those other domain providers, but I personally and high level works best with uh, Cloudflare. For, so definitely check that out. And uh, we'll have to connect a subdomain for sending. I usually go with the subdomain m dot, so m dot gosmarterflows.com, uh, but you could do something like uh, sending dot, reply dot, mail dot, but I think m dot is just nice and short and it looks like it's almost coming from the actual domain. So we'll hit add and verify. And high level's got a new feature so that to make the email setup and the email sending as easy as possible, sometimes it'll do that all automatically just by hitting the continue button right there. So now it's kind of searching GoDaddy, Cloudflare, kind of trying to figure out where is this connected? And it found it, it found out that we're connected to Cloudflare. So we can just hit authorize domain and this is like magic. It'll create all the DNS settings for us that we need for email sending. So again, definitely try to have your domain on Cloudflare, GoDaddy, any of those big providers, because then you can see we don't have to create all of these records manually. It'll just authorize it and do it for us. And I didn't even have to do anything now. You can see it's still loading. It took only a couple of seconds. And now if we hit verify domain, it might, as you can see, it already verified some of them. So basically what just happened, just to visualize it, you can see my DNS settings here on this domain were empty, but if I hit refresh now, high level and Cloudflare are pretty much connected with each other, and they just went ahead and created the DNS settings for me. So that's super cool. You can see all the DNS settings right here, right now. Um, and I'll show you how to create them manually as well, because. 50% of the time this does work, 50% of the time this doesn't work. So I do wanna show you how to do it if uh, you can't do it automatically. And all you have to do to add them manually is add a record, select the record type here, and you just go back and forth. So first we need a TXT. So we'll select a TXT record right here. Then the name is pretty much uh, provided TXT. We've got the name right here, host name. We can just copy that, paste that in here. And then we've got the value right here and we can copy that by hitting this copy button. And then we put that into content. And once you hit save here, and I can go ahead and do it, it'll just send me, hey, this, this record already exists because I level already created it. But that's exactly what you do. So we've got this TXT record just like that right there with that exact value. You just can't read it all. So I'll hit cancel. And so that's all you do. You go back and forth. Let's do another one just to, to visualize it again. Let's say we wanna do these MX cause they have this additional setting. So let's do MX 10 M. Let's do MX, doop, doop, doom. Let's find the MX, where is it at? I can't, how does the alphabet go? There we go, MX uh, name. Let's see, MX name is just M, host name. It's just M, mail server. We'll go ahead and uh, copy this right here. We'll copy this one. We'll put it in here. And then it is asking for this priority and you can see both of the priorities are just 10. And so theoretically I would hit save now and it would save it, but I'm get, gonna get the error message again because you can see that the MX, M, it is set up twice here. I don't know how that, I guess maybe it did add the one that I just added, but it's MX, MXA, um, and it's, it's set up right here. I'll go ahead and delete this one again. We'll just hit edit and delete. And so the first time you play around with these DNS settings, it's very scary and it seems like you're gonna break the internet. 
but don't worry there's not a lot that you can do wrong and if you need any help my team and i were happy to help so this is looking good we'll go back to the agency or the sub account will hit verify domain again. Sometimes you have to hit this button a couple of times because it has to propagate. The DNS settings have to propagate. And there we go. We can see it is active. The SSL still is pending, uh, but that should be verified soon as well. So we'll just hit verify again, and then we'll hit verify again. And so it's kind of like playing a game here. Sometimes they're verified, sometimes they're not. It just needs some time to propagate. And uh, it might need one minute, it might need five minutes, it might need 10 minutes. So just keep hitting verified and keep going through that process. Hit the refresh button here to refresh uh, the high level account and just keep going through until everything's green. The SSL is verified, email is verified and everything's ready to go. But once that is done, you're ready to send mass emails from this dedicated sending domain and you've got your own domain reputation. If for whatever reason you wanted to uh, change the name of where these emails are coming from, you can always go back and within the automations and the workflow sections, you can actually decide what um, the, the email populates as. So once you're in the workflow builder here, you can see you can change the from name and you could say, hey, send these emails from subscribe, uh, send them from the email like this video at gmail.com, whatever you want. You can change it individually for each email within the email action step, or you can just go to settings within the workflow up here and you can change the entire from name and from email for the entire workflow for all emails in the workflow right here. And so one little thing to point out is also this dedicated domain uh, that we just set up is for mass emails. Uh, so for workflows, mass emails, but you can also set up under your my profile. It's not showing up right now because I'm not assigned to the sub account, but there'll be a tab here that says my profile and under my profile, you can integrate your own email, um, like your own Gmail, your, your business Gmail or whatever. And then if you send individual emails from one contact to another contact or to yourself, one off emails, then uh, those are actually sent from the email that's connected in the my profile. So mass emails are the dedicated domain, one off emails are is connected under my profile. If you have any questions, comment them down below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. I do have a free community where I'm posting uh, exactly stuff like this. I've got an entire onboarding process with more detailed videos on how to set this up. And I've got an entire automations course on how to learn these workflow automations. So if you're new to high level, my team and I were happy to help you. Um, we've been using high level for the last three years, and we'd love to help you make the most out of high level as well. Um, either way, uh, thank you for very much for watching this video on how to set up your calling, texting and email email in go high level and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.